Ducati Sport Classic. One of the most beautiful bikes, created during the last decade. But not as beautiful, as the MH900E. As I said in a recent video, this was probably the main responsible, for the return of cafe racers. And 15 years later, still makes us salivate, when we see it. Unsurprisingly, it's also the inspirational muse, of today's project. A kind of sport classic reimagined. Something that requires attention, to appreciate subtle changes. And curiously, the opposite of this last phrase, is also true. Welcome to Racer TV. Bella. I'm not referring only the bike. Because Bella is also its name. This project belongs to the electrical whiz. Joe Tessator, owner of Digital Directive. Joe tried to reimagine the sport classic with high tech changes modern improvements, and upgrades that spared no expense. And this explains the final price. It was sold for $40,000. You are probably asking yourself, to where was the money? Well, in a way, the money is hidden in things that we can't see, but which can be known. Just like at the back, where is located a discrete LED lighting, with brake lights, tail lights, and turn signals. And the ignition key, is now an iPhone. The driver, only needs to carry the phone in his pocket. The bike will automatically detect his presence which will unlock the ignition system. I know that all this, can sound easy. But not after knowing, that was spent more than 100 hours around the hardware and software, just to adapt the digital dash unit, which came from the Ducati 1098. And what can we say about the colors? Well, I know exactly what you're thinking. If you live the 80s, I'm sure you will remember this. The A-Team's van. I don't know if Joe Tessator, was a fan of this TV series. But one thing is certain. Looks like he is. And if I'm right, he did really a great job. I'm not saying is better, than the original MH900E. but is certainly a great project that deserves to be seen. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, 
I hope to see you next week.